Okay, I'm on a mission. Randy's out of town working for a couple of days, and I got a project I want to do. And it's probably best that I do it while he's gone, because he'll be going, what in the world are you doing? So, I need my samurai. And we're going to go find a tree to cut down. And I need measuring tape. So here we go. In the pumpkin. Come on, Coop. You know what to do. You coming? Say hello, hello. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to cut down a tree. Isn't he such a cute little rider? Be still. We're almost there. I spied the tree I wanted when I came in the gate early. Here it is. Here's the tree. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much a junk tree. I don't think Randy will mind. This is kind of sort of a two person job. I'm wanting to attach this to this chunk of log. So, and these screws aren't terribly long. But we'll hope it works. I have a glove on because there was, was kind of sort of a small problem when I chopped down the tree. That's not going in straight. Yeah, it is. The problem was it looked like there was a very tiny, tiny, tiny poison oak vine on it. I came in and scrubbed. And I'm wearing a glove now when I'm touching it. All right, work without somebody holding. Afraid of that. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what. Oh, but I can't do that because then I wouldn't be able to get it out. Okay. No. Just gonna have to try it like this. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh. I 
I'm pretty proud of myself. Onward and upward. Hi y'all, how's it going? Well, you saw my beginning here. This kind of crazy idea project came about when I was delivering some stuff to my son and daughter-in-law's house yesterday. And while I was there, they, uh, the city had come and had cut down, whacked off the crepe myrtle that was up by their house because it was getting into the electrical lines. I'm glad they're a renter and they don't own that house because that thing looks terrible now. But there was this huge pile of limbs with pretty branches and some of the little crepe myrtle buds were still hanging on dried and that gave me an idea. So I have cleaned off what was on my mantle and all around to the side and I've got my new little fall picture up and I'm gonna go get my tree. So hang on. That's the beginning. That's the base. And now I will continue with branches. Hey y'all. Well, it's been a couple of days since I cut my branch and brought it in and I've been slowly kind of working on it off and on. I got a million projects going on right now. So I'm kind of doing a little bit here and a little bit there. But I wanted to update you because I'm going to move forward today with this creation. It's not meant to look like a tree and in the end you won't really see the trunk. I am just using it as the structure for an asymmetrical garland, if you want to call it that for my mantle for the fall. Now, I actually went back out to my tree stump and cut off a, another one uh, because I need, I need the structure to have some width to it. And I'm going to attach at least one of these branches to that trunk. For a project like this, you could really use any limbs that you wanted to use. Uh, I chose to use two. If you remember at the beginning, I told you my inspiration for this was um, seeing some branches with nice berry things on them dried that were uh, in front of my son's house piled up. And before I left his house, I was driving off, but before I left, I actually backed up, opened up the back of my Honda and grabbed a really big branch that I thought would work for this project. Now these branches are nice. I just love the shape of them and they're pretty sturdy and stout and they're actually from a magnolia tree, Little Jim magnolia tree and I had gathered a lot of them to do some projects with the magnolia leaves. You might have seen uh, one of them on YouTube. So I do think I want to use this branch. Is this the one I had? I think it was this one. I think I'm not using that one. Now I can't remember which one it was. I got to look again. Yeah, that on this one will work. I really don't want it to come out too far. So I'm using my fabric coated wire. And all I'm doing is trying to twist it pretty tight. Initially. Then I use my wire cutters to cut it shorter because it's just easier to use the pliers when the wires are short because I can get in there easily and really twist. You know, I was thinking, what am I, how am I going to store this thing? I don't know. I'm either going to have to take it all apart when I'm done with it 
And the only other thing I thought of was maybe getting one of those big bags that you put a Christmas tree in. Maybe that would work. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Randy would probably say, don't do it again. Just take it apart. And that's that. The basic structure is here. I'm going to zoom in for you and show you up and down what it looks like. Lucy, you gonna help me, huh? You gonna help me do this arrangement? Oh, now they're both coming. So you see at the bottom I used uh, two pieces of, I don't know what you call those, pieces of logs. up a little bit and you can get the whole little picture. So as you can see, most of the branching is, is either going kind of mostly straight up and to the left over the top of the mantle, which is exactly what I want. And then I've got a few that fan out a little bit to the right. You might remember the garland that I used on both the wedding garland and the wedding wreath. This is one of those. I had one garland, so I'm just adding it, starting to add the greenery in. I just want to make sure, since I have just one, that I've got uh, kind of it throughout the whole thing. I'm not hot gluing at this point. I'm just tying it in, in case I do want to undo it. The less I hot glue, the better, the easier it would be. So, occasionally I'm just wrapping one of the branches with the faux branch. It makes it pretty easy to do that since most of them are all wired. I'm using much lighter gauge wire for these branches. Now I have some green maple branches. At this point, I have added in a little bit of um, eucalyptus that was a garland. I chopped it up. I had two of these branches, so I put one there and there. I had some of this fall leaf stuff that I just kind of cut up and stuck in there. So that's all I've done so far. Now I have six ferns that again, I'm just going to start filling in. Right now I'm just trying to Add in areas where there are holes. Well, it's the next day, and I've started adding in the drapey type flowers into my mantle garland. Um, I have some bigger flowers that are going to go in here, but the next thing I want to add. I had to rig something, so I glued a couple of pieces of just styrofoam together and covered it in sheet moss. And I'm going to hot glue it down here to this base because I've got some heavier things that I need to be able to stick in it. Um, so I'll show you that next. Just to give it some surprise interest, I'm going to be adding some faux vegetables and fruits 
So I've got two artichokes here. And because they're big, I want them kind of weighted heavier on the bottom, which is why I needed the styrofoam. So to mount them, hopefully I can, yeah. Poke that in there. And I'm actually going to put about three in there. I don't have any wooden picks. That would have probably been um, a little stronger. But I'm just using what I have. Okay, I think that'll hold it. So, I'm going to poke one in kind of here at the side. Okay, for the pear, I kind of want it to hang. So, I think what I'm going to do Take my fabric coated wire here. It's coming around the stem underneath some of the grapes. Okie dokie. I like that. Now we're going to continue on up. All right, for this next one, I've got two red pears here. And we'll do them a little differently. So, You know, I've said before that I am not a professional flower arranger, and I'm not. I have watched a lot of professional flower arrangers in videos and such, but one of the things I have learned from them is when you're grouping flowers, when you're putting flowers in, uh, one of the things I like to do is kind of group in bundles of color. So, for example, I've got this kind of lighter celery green sunflower and then these two more limey greens kind of clustered together. Here I've got a grouping of two, but here I've got this dark burgundy color with a little bit lighter burgundy and then this whole little grouping of quite bright sunflowers. So these things not exactly sure what they're supposed to be, but you kind of have a hole here. I, it doesn't have to be filled solidly, but I do think there needs to be something there. So I'm going to use two and tuck it down in here. This is the hardest part is finding some place to wire it to. Well, I think I'm done. You know, with one of these things, you can kind of fiddle, fiddle, fiddle forever. I added in some lavender and a few little pine cones. Kind of scooted it that way a little bit. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting us. And you know the ending. Bye. And have a good one.